Community coming together for one Boston day. Tonight, a live picture of the Zakem Bridge lit up in blue and yellow, marking the second anniversary of the marathon attacks. And tonight, the group running the marathon in memory of the youngest victim of those attacks honors Martin Richards' legacy with every step. Katie Brace is live for us tonight at the finish line. Katie. At least a memorial now marks the finish line. Martin Richard was the youngest victim of the bombings. And at a run in his honor tonight, there were no tears. Instead, runners focused on what he loved. Ready for this? Wearing shirts bearing his name, Martin Richard's spirit ran through these runners. Be a sign of the victory of peace over violence. No, anything we can do to just really keep his memory alive, help the family cope in whatever little way we can. Jose Calderon knows the family. The second Boston Marathon bomb went off by the Richard family. Martin Richard was killed. His parents and two siblings were injured. Two years later, Henry Richard was one of the first to finish the 5K run in honor of his brother. The Richard family started the nonprofit MR8 to honor Martin's message of no more hurting people. I've got four kids of my own. I, I love everything this, um, the foundation believes in, and I want to do my part. Her son knows the Richard kids. It was really nice, especially to know it's for a good cause. Experienced marathoner Jen McCutcheon joined the MR8 team this year. Like I wanted to do something for them, and, but didn't know what. And found the 5K run in Martin's memory comforting. Today is a hard day. On this hard day, Dad Bill Richard also ran, surrounded by hundreds running for peace. I hope they will give them a little solace that they do have several hundred shoulders to, to lean on as, as they move forward. And MR8 gives to educational, athletic, and community causes. For example, they help start a, a baseball program for children with disabilities. And the goal is to stay true to Martin's outlook that anything is possible. Reporting live in Boston, Katie Brace, WBZ News. David. What a great event. What a great night. Katie Brace, thank you.